Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over part two on how to set up your Android tablet. I'm going to quickly reference uh, a part I skipped over, which is just simply going to be, when you first turn your tablet on, you will immediately go to the Android market. Um, after you go to the Android market, you're going to see at the bottom here in your notification panel, every app you've ever had start downloading immediately. So after that's done, um, after all the apps are done, I would say give it 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, I had 170 apps, so mine lasted about 20 minutes. Um, it'll change to the Play Store, and then take everything off of your tablet, and do this. This is how I set up my screens, and how I recommend anyone up to set up theirs. So first thing I'm going to do is I like one widget, uh, which I believe costed uh, 99 cents, if I remember correctly, called HD Widgets. They're really nice, um, and it's just probably the best uh, kind of clock feature you can kind of get on the market right now. So I go for the eight times one home screen, and when I put that on the tablet, what I get is uh, choices on what I can do. So you can change the color of this, you can change the widgets, anything you want. So I'm going to leave the clock and the color the same way, but the sidebar is very important. I like to tab this over. Oops. If I actually look at it, it'll be better. And change it to select what widgets to turn on and off. Uh, of course, this is always helpful. And you have a lot of different ones you can go with. You can have default. You have things like if you travel a lot. You have, you know, all these different things. I just go with the default. So I'm going to just have that. And then at the very bottom, it'll show you what the widget will look like and just add widget. Now this again is my favorite one just because if you look at it, it really kind of, it has a good look to it. You can Again, you can do this in different colors, clear, black, red, blue, whatever you want. Um, you can put the weather, the clock, whatever color you want. And of course, but my favorite part is to be able to switch on and off things like GPS, things like uh, lock, things like uh, Bluetooth, things like that, so right away. Um, you can always do it at the bottom right, of course, right here, but it's just nice to have it on the home screen too. So that'll be the first uh, widget I recommend. Second thing is gonna be putting your Gmail. Now, you can put uh, your email, of course, too. I love the Gmail app way more than regular email just because it seems a lot better to me, especially to, for push notification. Push notification, the email app, is nowhere near as good as Gmail. Um, so I'm going to pick Ask the Android Guy, and I'll pick the inbox, so I'll see all the messages you guys send me. And I'm going to expand this so that it's halfway. So when these little bars come up, you can expand it. Um, I usually just expand it so it's halfway. And then that way I can see all my emails as they come in. And I get a lot of messages from you guys. And I'm trying to respond to them as quickly as possible. So I just want you guys to know that. Uh, next step is I like to have my appointments. So I'm going to put my calendar right over here. And put that right in the middle. Now this one I'll also expand so that it's halfway. So again, I like it because it's a nice uh, clear view and you can see kind of like how everything's going. Um, and as you can see, I'm going on a trip to Puerto Rico if you guys don't see me for a little bit. Um, so uh, you can see your kind of schedule and uh, your calendar right on the go. Oh, actually, I generally have it a little bit longer so I'm gonna expand that a little bit more. Oops. And if you tap on the widget, of course, it'll just go right to the app. So there you go. And then on the bottom row, you have uh, two rows here where you can put all of your apps. So on the bottom right, I tend to do the Play Store. That's the one I like to do. And then just the apps that you like to use the most. Um, I do have my recommendations, of course. Um, one being the browser. It's something you're going to use a lot. I use Dolphin Browser for my tablet, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, another one uh, is going to be, I normally used to use Google Docs, however that just changed to the Google Drive today, which definitely check out the video after this if you haven't seen the Google Drive video. It's really cool what that did. It's uh, online storage now. Um, have Facebook. 
I like to use uh, one of my favorite apps, Google Currents, which keeps me up to date with all the newest tech information. Uh, basically, you can just choose whatever articles you want and then view them right then and there. So that's pretty nice. Um, other apps, uh, camera, of course, always good to have. Calculator, tend to use that a lot. Again, uh, whatever your personal preference is, I'm just going to show you, you know, the main apps that I use. Uh, file Manager HD. I like this one. It's probably the best file manager for a tablet, and it's free download. Uh, other ones, of course, Netflix. Got to watch Netflix. Um, my favorite uh, video player, which I also did a video on. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. MX Player. It plays every codec at full 1080p, so really nice uh, video player. Google Play Music. I love Google Play Music. Uh, all my songs on the go. So definitely a fan of that one. And then uh, On Live Desktop. Again, did a video of that one. If you want Word, PowerPoint, and Excel on your tablet, just get On Live Desktop. Definitely one of my more popular videos, so check it out. It's really cool. Um, I like to have uh, Google Talk for my video chat. Uh, your personal bank, so whether it's Wells Fargo, Bank of America, you know, any, uh, your personal bank, I use Wells Fargo, so I'm going to put that there. YouTube, of course, you know, got to have YouTube at all times. And I am missing one, but I swear I usually have two rows. Hmm. Well, either way, um, this is the majority of them. I forgot which one I also have normally, but you're missing one so far, but just to give you an idea of the main apps I like to, oh, duh, gallery. You gotta have gallery. Just so when you're viewing your photos and everything like that, you gotta have gallery. So we'll put gallery there. If you have any uh, questions about any of the apps that you're seeing on my screen, definitely feel free to ask and I might just do a video on it. And gallery. So this is how I set up my main page. Um, it's definitely what I recommend for anyone to do. Of course, I would categorize them better. I just kind of dropped all of them. But, you know, make it make sense kind of thing. Uh, and it's really the best kind of layout, I would say, for your main page. And then your main page, you can turn everything on and off. You view your schedule for the day and the week. And you view all your emails as they come in. So it's really just uh, great all around. Um, to the right, I will usually make a page dedicated to all my games. And to the left, I'll make a page dedicated to all the other apps that I tend to use that I didn't put on my main page. So that's how I like to set up my uh, tablet and how I recommend you all set it up. The I, I really only use three pages, so even though I have five, of course, I really only use uh, the three pages. Uh, the last ones I put for like a widget. Um, so like one widget I really like that you can only get through Samsung is a slideshow photo. Um, there are other apps that try to do it, but Samsung has be definitely done the best one. So if I wanted to do like, you know, a slideshow video of, uh, what I usually do is like me and my girlfriend, I would just, you know, take pictures and everything like that. Uh, let's see, where's the ones I usually go from? So just, you know, select them all. And you just hold down the first one, then it, you'll have a multi-select. And then you just go OK. And then it'll take up half the screen. It could take all the screen. You can resize this widget. It's a widget I really like to use. You can you know make it the whole screen. You can make it half the screen, which is what I usually do. And uh, just, again, fun uh, things to do. All right, if you guys have any other questions on how to set up your tablet, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.